Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Hello and welcome to this episode of our program. This is Mike Saunders with Marketing Huddle. Today we have with us Jim Chester, who is director of Chiropractic, the documentary. Jim, welcome to the program. Hey, Mike, thanks for having me. Hey, you're welcome. Uh, Give us a little bit of background on yourself and uh, what led you to um, undertake this project of the documentary. Wow. Well, you know, the process of deciding to make a film on chiropractic was pretty much something I saw as necessary for the chiropractic market. Um, But I'll go into a little bit about myself and then why that project was important to me. Um, So I'm originally from Davenport, Iowa, and that's where chiropractic started, you know, right, Mike? Had no clue, but I'm glad you told us. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So chiropractic started uh, in Davenport, Iowa, September 18th, 1895. So that's a little history for everybody. Um, I'm sure a lot of people that are interested in chiropractic, a little history goes a long way. So anyways, I I come from the place where it it all happened. Um, I, I... got a degree in marketing and journalism, and I was kind of just racking my brain as to what the right direction for me was my um, my intention would be with, uh, you know, having the ability to, to work in that field in journalism. So I, I thought about how to help grow chiropractic, and it led me to the idea that there wasn't anything out there on the market that was substantial enough to represent chiropractic as a whole profession. So that's kind of where I came from is the the area of uh, Iowa and, you know, a little bit about the film was uh, I saw a need for it. So that's kind of the reason why we decided to make it. Yeah, you know, what what would you say would be the compelling um, thing that stood out to you at why you chose chiropractic? And then what is the gap that um, the documentary is filling? Well, I, I'm i a pretty intuitive guy, and I have a lot of uh, deep feelings for doing the right thing in this world, and I was constantly trying to figure out what the right thing was for me to be a part of, and as I started doing more uh, investigating on the chiropractic world, I realized that, you know, that's uh, something I can get behind, and I believe that I, I could uh, understand the method, I could understand the the doctors, I could understand so much of their philosophy that it made sense for me to to want to work with them. Yeah, because chiropractic is not just fixing a problem. It's more of a holistic approach to, you know, well, well-being and wellness and, and uh, everything combined. Is that what um, one of the things that drew you to um, wanting to uh, promote that message as well? Well, yeah, you know, and, and, and just like you said, um, it's it's a it's a unique method of, of the health system, and that's really where we were uh, considering the film being a good fit. Was we knew that the health and wellness market was growing at a rapid rate, and we knew that people uh, were very interested in um, you know entertainment, but entertainment more as to the documentary market. So if we could take a topic that was a little misunderstood and had a lot of uh, uh, content behind it and find a good niche market for it, which would be the health and wellness and uh, chiropractic and, you know, just natural health. We, we were thinking of a way to make a documentary film to bring more awareness to the people. So that's kind of how we, we thought of the recipe to fill that gap of uh, that, that missing gap in, in the message of chiropractic and for how do we get the message to the people the easiest way? Well, let's make it to a way where they can watch it on their laptops at home. Yeah, you know, these days um, it's uh, it's all about going to where your market is, and I think that's a huge point is um, how can that be delivered? So let's uh, let's talk a little bit about um, how you made it. When you say documentary, I'm sure that that um, conjures up a lot of thoughts a lot of people would have, you know, maybe old and dry and dull, but give us a little bit of insight on how you made it and um, how it uh, stands out from uh, other productions. Well... You know, we're, we're independent filmmakers, very uh, 
budget conscious uh, producers and directors. Um, it was Luke Millette and myself that teamed up to make the film, but we couldn't do it without the chiropractors and the generosity within the, the ranks of all of the, the people that helped it uh, become possible. Um, you know, the patient tracking that we did with uh, Clint Dickinson, um, with Michael Hogan, and with Suki Muker, um, I thought that gave some relevancy to the project and actually made it a documentary. So getting the three clinics on board to do the patient tracking, I believe, is a real testament to how chiropractic works. And, you know, following the people through a 90-day care plan, I thought gave a great documentation for what's current. And I thought that we did a fair job of explaining the different types of uh, chiropractic care out there um, through the history, through the insurance, and through some of the strife that's happened within the profession. So I thought it was, uh, you know, a time capsule piece at the beginning and then a current relevancy piece at the, the last third of it. Yeah, that's a good, that's a neat mix. Um, and I'm sure that with you doing all of the work and, um, and everything from filming to editing, you came away with some things that maybe you didn't even think you would come away with at the beginning. Were there any aha moments that you uh, perceived that you can think of? Well, you know, just having personal time with John Martini. Uh, was really a, a great time, uh, you know, just a great moment in my, my life. Um, it, it, was, it was something that I, I was able to actually meet with somebody with such a great mind and have them take interest in me. And I learned a great deal from that, that, uh, that moment with uh, Dr. Martini. But, you know, just the whole project, the whole encompassing project of it is, you know, the chiropractic world is a very interesting place to uh, be a part of. And I think that the doctors are doing their best to take care of people and really, I, I think that the, the thing that they can all benefit from is having somebody that is a natural storyteller and somebody that can tell the story that they want everybody to know. So being able to be invited into, I would say, their family and being able to understand their methods and being able to convey that message, I would say is probably the, the greatest gift. And now, you know, being able to travel around the world and uh, go around to the chiropractic schools and to talk to them about the film and to uh, talk to them about my other interests within the chiropractic field. I think that's probably the, the greatest thing that I've gotten from being able to be in this position. Yeah, that uh, you, you got fully immersed in that, and I think that's a, that's a really special um, opportunity that you were able to experience. And it makes me think, now that it's done and, and in hand, what is the place for the documentary? What is the purpose of it? And if you are a chiropractor listening to this and you um, think, I need to get a copy of this and, and evaluate it, and you like the documentary, how do they use it? What is the purpose of, uh, of putting this in the hands of the chiropractic profession? So that's a, it's a really good question, Mike. So what happens is I had a, a vision of how to get this thing uh, out to the different levels of influence. So the first level of influence was to how can I influence the people in the chiropractic profession with this film? So I thought about, you know, getting in touch with uh, the leaders and the schools and being able to get in touch with the different uh, philosophy groups and coaching groups. Um, so working from the inside uh, sector of actually working with the chiropractors. And then, you know, as the thing grew was to get into the chiropractic students and how can we integrate with the, the future leaders of uh, chiropractic. So there was a couple of sphere, spheres of influence there. And then it was um, after we get through the layer one and layer two, how do we get to the masses? Well, that was probably the most critical move and uh, what most people are really interested in is, you know, chiropractors understand chiropractic, their patients understand chiropractic, but who doesn't? Well, I think the question's pretty easy. The people that don't utilize chiropractic and that are not in that sphere of influence, those two. So that's the public. And I think the best way for people to now see chiropractic, the documentary, would be to go on to Amazon Prime. Um, that's a great um, avenue for people to see the film. 
If they'd like a hard copy of the film on DVD, they can go to chiropracticthedocumentary.com. Um, we're also on iTunes and Google Play. So we have some online streaming platforms that are really cool because, you know, the big question is, well, how is this movie going to have an impact? Well, I think we, we really don't know yet. We, we have no idea until we start seeing how many people watch the film. And I think the online streaming platforms is a great option for people to do that. Yeah, you know, from a um, business and marketing standpoint, um, it, it seems like there's a aha moment for me. So I'm going to explain it, and then you can confirm or clarify for me. Um, this film is not promoting any one school practice, anything specifically. It's promoting the profession. So if a chiropractor is looking to build their practice, um, one of the best ways is to raise awareness in their local area of what chiropractic the industry does. So if that's the case, um, many times you can really turn someone off if you are, you know, buy, 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 or come by here and, and really be pushy about yourself, whatever you sell, widgets, services, chiropractic, it doesn't matter. But would this, oppor- would this be an opportunity for a chiropractor to maybe hold local screenings in their office or give away to um, groups when they do presentations to raise awareness and then the soft sell is them giving some screenings or some brochures or some uh, um, sessions after the fact. Well, you know, anytime we can get the mass awareness for this profession, I think it's uh, very, very important. And I think that having the film as a vehicle for that, any way that the offices would think that that would be a good way to um, educate their patient base, um, or to, you know, cause some type of of an event that will draw more people's attention to their message. And it's not really them telling it. It's, uh, you know, a third party telling it. That would be me in the film. So anytime anyone would utilize the film as a educational tool to, yeah, I would say leverage the the message to people in a non, I guess, non-salesy, non-threatening way, I think it would be a very valuable resource for that. Um, And any way that you can, you know, give the message easier and not have it be uh, you because it takes a lot of energy to do that, you know, I'd recommend that. Um, One of the chiropractic schools down in uh, Mexico is now going to have all of the new students watch this film before they enter the program. Mm. Yeah, you know, I think that's uh, from a marketing psychology standpoint, it's such an um, eye-opening approach to not sell. You kind of feel like, you know, well, how am I supposed to get new patients? I need to get them in the door and sell them. But in reality, if you just do the, edu- you know, in, in my profession in marketing, it is um, doing a service to your client and serving them and giving first, which is becoming an educator and an advocate for that patient, that, that prospective patient. And if you can do it through a vehicle of educating about the industry, um, you used a very unique word, which is um, telling the story. And I think being able to get a prospective patient caught up in the story of the profession, you know, that is so much more powerful than, you know, my name is Dr. So-and-so, come see me, we have a special this weekend. Yeah, and, you know, I think it's a multifaceted approach until we get the, the market to understand really that chiropractic is safe, affordable, and effective. And... I think that was the main premise of the whole film was to allow people to know that these guys aren't cracking your bones. And, you know, if you have poor posture, it will have a direct impact on your uh, biomechanics in your house. Um, So, you know, just letting people know the obvious that might not be so obvious. Yeah, I, I, I just really love that approach, and, and I think that's really um, spectacular. And, and would that be kind of the same approach as, uh, as using it for prospective chiropractic students? Are they gonna, what are they going to see from the documentary, which is looking at it through a different set of eyes and a different filter? Yeah, and you, you know, any time that you make something of, you know, the magnitude of a film or some type of creative uh, project, whether it be art, whether it be music. Um, But when it comes to film, you want people to have emotion from it. You want them to learn something from it. And if you can make them laugh and you can make them cry in the same breath, then you've created something special. And my experience with uh, showing it to groups and different uh, 
um, locations with students and with uh, doctors, um, you know, we, we felt like we've come away with a real winner when it comes to being able to do that. So not only educating someone, but, you know, getting people to laugh and getting people to cry is probably the, the most uh, complex thing to do with any type of creative work. So, you know, when it comes to a student learning from it, um, it's an emotional mover. It, 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 it will definitely, uh, you know, give you a little bit of a, a spotlight on to why you might be choosing the path that you are to become a chiropractor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a really really good point. And you know, I, I again, I, I think that we could probably spend hours upon hours on the psychology behind this approach for both students or patients. And I think that you've put a, together a tool that is so powerful for both of those entities that people just really need to understand that. So I think uh, you've really hit those uh, points very well. Um, what would uh, what is next for you? Um, this project here is underway and out, and of course you need to get it out. Is your your next step just to take it to the next level or do you have other projects uh, in the works? So, you know, we're, we're constantly combing opportunities and seeing what's best for the direction. Um, you know, we're, we're a team of two, so we're also, you know, pushing agendas in different directions for ourselves, personal lives and business lives. So, you know, you know, getting the film out to more chiropractic colleges and doing more screenings, um, doing more state association type work, um, building relationships, I believe, is one of the, the important factors of the film because now we have something to give us a, I call it a barrier project into the industry, which is the film chiropractic, the documentary, but it's a barrier project that opened us up to a whole other arena. So I see it as something that uh, will uh, leverage me into the position to do more speaking engagements because I love to share my – I love to be the storyteller. So I love to share my story, and I love to share how I figured out how to do a couple things within the chiropractic uh, market to help them grow their practices. Um, so I'd say, you know, more speaking engagements. Um, and we're also doing a follow-up film. Uh, it's called Project Patient. It's going to be a, a much shorter film, but a lot more concentration on uh, a couple different sectors of the healthcare system. One of those sectors being the veterans so and, and active military. So the military uh, sector is one part of it. Pediatrics uh, is another part of it. So we're going to be ch- checking out kids and uh, children and babies, um, figuring out what's going on with them and how chiropractic benefits their health. And with the veterans, it's going to be more focused on post-traumatic stress disorder and uh, certain types of injuries. And uh, we took some real difficult cases um, with another clinic that followed uh, people with numbness on one side of the body, brought them back to restore to health. Um, People post-cancer survivors getting care and seeing their health improve. Uh, Traumatic brain injuries, addictions, things of that. So really difficult things that a lot of people might not know that chiropractic is helpful for. So the follow-up film will be called Project Patient, and it's going to touch on a lot of sectors of the population that people might not know that chiropractic is uh, okay for and how it actually changes these people's lives. Well, I absolutely love your approach from the 30,000 foot view um, industry approach. I love how you're doing that and it's going to make such a huge impact in the industry but also something that individual clinics and schools can use and and I uh, applaud you for that. So I know you mentioned it once but let's uh, end with what is the best way that someone can um, watch um, all of or part of or get a DVD or watch it streaming. What's the best way that they can uh, um, interact and access your documentary? So if you go to our website, chiropracticthedocumentary.com, all one long word, uh, you can watch the first 15 minutes of it for free. If you do like it, you can purchase a DVD copy on the website. And if you have Amazon Prime, iTunes, or Google Play, you can download a digital copy of that, either purchase or rent. And I would say those are the best options for somebody to see the film at this point. If you do want to hold a screening uh, at your uh, state convention or your philosophy group or something similar to that, even if it's your chiropractic college, if you hear this and you're like, wow, I'd like to bring the film to the school to do a, a function for the students, um, it doesn't even have to be a chiropractic school. 
I mean, anybody that uh, has value in a grassroots film on natural health, I think that would really appreciate uh, seeing the film. So I think that those would probably be the best way. So you can reach out to me personally, uh, James T. Chester at gmail.com with an email, or you can easily find me on Facebook. I'm pretty active on there. You can send me a personal message on there. I'm under Jim Chester, and my little slogan is keep smiling. Awesome. Well, Jim, thank you so much for your time today. It was wonderful getting to know you. Cool. Thanks, Mike. I really appreciate you taking some time to uh, do a spotlight on Chiropractic, the documentary. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.